Welcome to the office here in Champaign, Illinois. I'm Nate Allball, assistant football coach at Unity High School in Tolono, Illinois. And uh, today's a special Friday because tonight we feature Coach Kenny Simpson on our online clinic, right? So that's for members only over on the clinic. And people have asked, like, what's the difference between the clinic and what you're doing on YouTube? Well, the clinic is, you know, it's like professionally done. You know how that when you do things on YouTube, the guys at home, sometimes you have audio problems, you have a lot of film problems, it comes through glitchy, right? So on the online clinic, we, meaning myself, and one of the guys that uh, does videography for us, will travel to a coach, or that coach will come here to Champaign, to our office in downtown Champaign, and he will, um, and we'll record him there, right? And that coach is uh, always paid for his time. So it's just kind of, it's a, it's a clinic community, and so I hope that you guys will check it out tonight is a live game film review with Coach Kenny Simpson, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. You know, C Coach Simpson has a great following. He's kind of put out a whole bunch of great products. He's a very humble guy, and yet he's, you know, just continues to, to promote his um, style of play and his philosophies and ways of thinking. Um, he just does a great job, right? And so I'm excited to get to know him better and for you guys to get to know him. So if you're a member, Come check him out tonight. If you're not, well, you can always become a member. It's $9.95 a month, and you can cancel at any time if you don't like what we're doing there. But I'd encourage you to check it out. Today we're watching film, of course, so let's just jump in. We'll watch film. I'll tell you about the film as we're rolling. Let's jump into film. All right, we're here in Salinas, California. This over here is North Salinas High School, and this here is Elbert. Everett Alvarez High School in Salinas, California. And that's like, I wanna say, a little south of the Bay Area, right? I don't know if they still call themselves Bay Area. We're gonna have Coach Gonzalez, and that's whose film this is. That's at AVGonzalez831. Look him up on Twitter. Coach Gonzalez, he shoots for us for Chief Pigskin, and that's why I wanted you guys to meet him. He is, I believe, their 3 4 on defense, and he's a wing T guy on offense, so you know. He's my kind of guy. I believe they went five and five a year ago, and I actually haven't heard whether or not they won this game. I'm gonna assume this is an awfully good game, or they thumped them a little bit because this is the game that coach chose to share with us. So let's just take a look at what we see, right? Kickoff coverage, kick return, and uh-oh, uh-oh, see, you, come on, play all right. You know what I'm gonna say. This ball, you kick deep, Gave it to him on the minus 42. If you'd have onside kicked and they and you didn't get it back, you'd have given it to him on the 48. For me, I like those odds. I know I'm crazy. People disagree. Here we go. North Selena is coming out in two by two, and there is um, Everett Alvarez here in their cover two shell with their three four defense, and it looks like, from what I can tell. It looks like like a four eye zero four eye. Would you agree with that? That's the look that I'm seeing, and the four linebackers straight across. Okay, interesting for me right now because of most of the three four stuff I looked into last year in the last couple years, the stuff from Nick Pelham um, that's available on the store, the stuff from uh, Van Venata even, who and, and even um, Ty Gower, a couple other things that are available on the clinic. Like these, most guys were showing three like they were reducing from one side to the other so like either this guy was always coming down reduced or this guy and from what i can tell right now right it's early i don't see anybody reducing just three four look at that both linebackers drop what do you what let's see if we can deduce what kind of coverage we're getting boy that looks like cover two doesn't it that's just a shuffle out and he sits right away i suppose it could be palms what do you guys think? Could that be like a trap too? I mean, he's not trying to funnel him. He's not trying to funnel him. And I get a little cloudy sometimes in my terminology in cover two. There's a, when you get into coverage, there's like a whole world of vocabulary and terminology you can open up. And there's guys that get very, very deep in a lot of terms. Um, and I'm not, I don't have the vocabulary that these guys do. Uh, I, 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 I guess I, I, I need to work, figure out what exactly Trap 2 is. What do you guys think? Comment below to you. What is Trap 2 coverage? Okay, Cover 2 Trap. What is that to you? Um, I, my, I, see, I can't even think through my own understanding of it right now. All right, make a note. Look up 
track two right after this. I already know where I'm going for this resource. Uh, Jake uh, Gilbert did one on for Chief Pigskin on two trap and he's over out of, of uh, Westfield, Indiana. And he did a great job. I need to study this up. Either way, I don't see, it doesn't look like a cover two, that funneling cover two. What do you call a cover two where it's just a true funnel, right? Where that guy, is that to have a special tag? Uh, some of you guys that have great uh, vocabularies. Back to talking football and thinking Ever Alvarez High School. First of all, I love these uniforms. I'm not a Michigan fan, but it's a, it's a great look. I mean, these are good colors. The navy blue and gold is a great color. And the old um, Wolverine helmet, which I know is not native to it. There's lots of other schools that wore it first, like Delaware. But this is some good defense. Look at that pursuit. Nice job from that corner. Great job getting there from the outside linebacker. I mean, that's just a lot of hats to the ball. And do they get the ball back? They don't. But they got him in second and 15. Again, two by two. And here we are in this two by two stack. What do you guys do with that? How do you treat that? Is it, in your world, is this the same as two by two? Are you gonna ignore it? Are you doing something special? One thing I love about cover two is I feel like cover two makes covering this easier, right? Because you just go, all right, they're gonna line up in a straight line. Listen, one of them's going to either come straight ahead and stick or one's coming out and the other one's going vertical, right? So it's easier to just leave a cover two guy outside of it. This stack gets real cloudy and messy if you're trying to run man coverage, obviously, right? It gets, it gets messy and it, it messes with you. So, I, I mean, I love that offenses do it. I think it's a great idea. It, it, it's just one of those things where you have to game plan wise go, how are we, tr what are we treating this as, right? That old term, same as, which I think is a great term, same as, right? You're gonna say, you're gonna tell your kids, right? My, my assumption is you're gonna teach this same as what in your system? Hey, when they do this stack, we're gonna treat that same as what? Same as bunch? You treat it the same as bunch maybe? You're gonna treat it the same as if they went two by two? What are you gonna do? How, what, what is that gonna be the same as for you? Well, as of right now, North Salinas can't seem to get anything going and Everett Alvarez is all over them. Look at that. I mean, that's the, the benefit of going four I, zero four I. I mean, that, it's pretty cloudy in there and they're just, gobbling them up well third and long going to three by one and now we see we're getting some sort of some games coming from ea right can i call them that coach, coach gonzalez can i call you guys ea right now we're no longer in our four linebackers across okay here we come with some games here we come what, what are we gonna do here they, how many did they just bring they bring six they bring six, one linebacker drops, bring six, drop five. What do you guys think he went to in coverage here? Whatever they went to, <laughs> this is pretty nice. I like that, you know, they, they, for the most part, ignore that bubble screen, right? This guy who I thought was going to be a cover two type corner, he does not bite on that little bubble. And this guy just opens up and walls this off. This is nice. Doesn't look like to be the same coverage as what we were getting in the first two. We'll have to ask Coach Gonzalez when he comes on. Great opening uh, defensive stand by Everett Alvarez. And they're going to get the ball back. Make sure I'm recording. Ball bounces out of bounds. And now it's Everett Alvarez ball. Now they're a wing T team. I... The play gets cut off. Don't you love high school filmers? I see Waggle, right? Here comes that tight end. Boy, this is a thing of beauty. Here he comes. I see Waggle. Here we go, and he seems to have room. Let's see what they hit. See, this looks super shallow. Look how shallow Coach's quarterback boots out here, right? So the ball seems to be somewhere in here. This is five yards. This quarterback doesn't even boot beyond five yards. He almost looks like he knows he's running coming out of the gates. For us, we used to set a cone at seven. We wanted him to get behind it. And then our goal was get coming downhill. We want, want, right? It's hard to get him to do it, but we'd like to be coming downhill at our target when we throw. And this kid never really bellies back. I mean, he's just getting whipped right away. He doesn't look to be giving an effort to throw at all. So I just, I wonder. I wonder what's going on. 
can't see enough. I can't see enough to see protection or anything like that. Either way, what's it gonna be? A five yard gain, second five, not bad. Not bad, okay, now I gotta pause this. It's still coming in late. All right, I'm seeing tight end, wing, your classic, and I see a front side guard pulling. You guys seeing belly G? Yes, sir. Belly option, or maybe you call it down option. Right, right now you can't see hard, you can't see much. Nothing looks clean right now because we're coming in late on the play, but it's third and one, third and two. That's a place that a wing T team likes to be. Okay, coach goes to two wings. I see some fly motion, at least that's what we used to call it, right? It's almost like fly sweep and then the trap action off of it. It's a good little play, man. We, we have had much success off this little look. We haven't run this look since about, 2012, I want to say. But we've had a lot of success there. Nice trap block. Look at this kid. Look at 74's trap block. Whoa, baby. Coach, watch this kid, guys. You see him right here? See this hat? 74 right here. Watch this trap block from 74. Pull. Boom. Shoulders low. Wow. Wow. Where, where is the traffic coming from on this? They get the two eye blocked. It's this near side linebacker. All right, got the first down. Now they come with a little of that motion coming back. See, I, I really like, if we have two good wings, I really like running wing T out of this because it's just that it, it you add it's a little thing, but you add so much with the capability of bringing a short motion here or a short short motion here. Right? That little thing adds so much. And I love having that option. Now it does take a lot of reps, right? Here we go, buck sweep. Coach Gonzalez looks clean, man. You guys look good right now. If I find out North Salinas is really bad though, I'm gonna be mad at you. Man, look at that clean sweep path. Let's see how they get the front side blocked up here. Boy, look at that flanking angle on this guy. This, this tight end hits this the hip of this D end and just washes him. They're gonna leave this outside linebacker alone. See, I was just gonna say on that last play, and this is the thing you have to watch. So I look at that last play, right? Who made the play on track? Well, this guy went straight downhill. I mean, straight downhill on trap. All right, so this guy on trap, where I've got my halfback here screaming across, faking sweep, and he just goes straight downhill, you think, well, can we run sweep on him? If a guy's gonna be that heavy downhill playing trap, maybe he'll play that downhill on sweep. And if we watch him here, you see how he's straight downhill, and now he's out of the play for sweep. Right, this wing back is ready to come down and, and try to get a piece of him, but he's not there. Boom, boom. And now we got an extra blocker up to that next level. Right, see, and for us in our system, we're gonna try to take care of this man. We're gonna try to take care of him with the backside guard. We're gonna try to get here with that man and take care of him. Well, he takes himself out of the play, which means this backside guard is free to go to the next man, which is a defensive back. That's nice, nice job leading up. Look how far 74 is upfield. That kid's good lineman, a very good lineman. Nice run by six. Boy, that's a way to start a game, coach. No extra point, that's my kind of film. Just take it out. Sorry kickers, I feel so bad. And I've had some good kickers, right? Maybe that's why I'm so bored by it. My kickers have been automatic for so long. Just give us the point. We're gonna make it. Just give us the point. I know it's not always like that. Because the second our D1 kicker string ran out, <laughs> life, life changed in a hurry. All right, kickoff again. Where do they return this one to? All right, they return this one to the 34. Better coverage. Let's get Coach Gonzalez on the horn and watch two drives of football with him. All right, we got Coach Gonzalez here on the horn. Coach Anthony Gonzalez, welcome to Film Friday. Hey, thanks. I'm uh, super excited to do this one. I've been watching this for a while. That's right. You watched Film Friday way back in the day, didn't you? 
Yeah, back when you had uh, your own Nate Allball channel on YouTube. Oh, boy, yeah. We're talking about a long time ago. Hey, that's still yeah, there, yeah. by the way. Yeah. It, it, oh, it is, there. yeah. Still there and still growing, even though I don't post to it. Well, Coach is a wing tee guy. We just watched your first two drives. Um, you stifled them defensively. And then um, offensively ran a trap, ran a boot, and then – or no, went boot, trap, and then buck sweep popped for about 60 um so yeah. that's where we are so far you just kicked back to him coach and coach i wanted everybody to meet you and get to know you a little bit because you're shooting video for chief pigskin now that's right it's been super fun getting to uh meet a bunch of coaches uh all the way all across the country it's been great yeah i mean the goal was to get out and travel some and of course covid changed our plans and we kind of transitioned to youtube which has been an awesome too um, but you had been out to a couple places already, and now you're kind of, I guess when it's, now that it's gone online, you've been able to kind of expand your reach. And, and like you said, and, to, and uh, Gus Kapalka out of Michigan, right, guys from all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it's been super fun. Like I said, talking to a bunch of different guys across the country. Um, we get to trade films to, so we can uh, watch each other. Gus actually just um, broke down some film for me because uh, we play a power T team, and yeah. I'm like, I, dude, I need some help because, like, um, we just have trouble defending it. We don't match up well with, the, with those guys in particular. So he was giving me some advice, some schemes, and some things to try, um, you know, just to, to help out our defense while, while, while we play them. Isn't that great? Once you make a connection, then you've got that connection and something that you can pull from as a resource. Yeah, um, definitely. Well, awesome. Well, we're excited to have you. And uh, Coach Gonzalez has shot a lot of videos so far. Hopefully he continues to do so. Coach, I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to go watch. What's your mascot? The Eagles? Ours is the Eagles, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Eagles. I'm going to yeah. share my screen, and we're going to go watch the Eagles in action. Here we go. All right, so North Salinas has the ball. They go two by two. Now, in the first one, we noticed we thought that you were in cover two up here. Let me minimize that. And, and with that, is that like one of your base? Are you base cover two? Um, we're a cover four team, um, but we'll uh, split field coverage. So if uh, I don't remember this play in particular, but just by where the ball's at, um, the top of the screen, I'm pretty sure we'll be in uh, four and then the bottom, we might be in palms. And I think okay. we are because uh, I think our safety gets beat over the top and you just can't see it in film. Well, it looks here like your, our corner on the bottom. I can see him stick his foot momentarily because he gets this. Right. And it looks like right there, you can see he sticks his foot. So I want to, I'm sure, or it does look like palms. And there's that window. Does he hit yeah, it? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think they hit it, but like we see number five right there. He was our free safety. He was one of those kids where you just don't know where to put him, but he's an athlete. So you got to find a place for him. This guy? So, yeah. So we had him at safety. We had him at, uh, outside linebacker for a little while. He he was our backup quarterback. He ran the ball for us. Like, he just didn't have a, a spot. So like, we're yeah. testing him out throughout the, the year. Um, I think um, we ended up settling with him playing running back at the end of the year. And he was actually really good at it. He's actually gonna probably be our starting quarterback this year. No kidding. Yeah. Well, th this is the toughest throw in the, to, for Palms coverage. I mean, it's, for us, we called this sale. Like when we had a go and an out. And that yeah. was one of the hardest things to cover. Some people like fade out and it's hard to cover, man. It is. Well, it doesn't help that his look, I mean, if you look at number five's eyes, his eyes aren't in the right spot anyways. He's probably looking at the quarterback when right. he's looking at number two. So here we go, they go three by one. And now this is interesting, man, because we go, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at how much your two guys have displaced. So yeah. we took the outside guy outside of number two. Uh -huh. And you've taken this inside linebacker, and he's like, man, just inside three. Is this a normal thing? Is this game plan? Uh, this is kind of a normal thing for us. We, um, it depend, like I said, depending on what coverage we're in. So they came out and tripped to the field. Um, I'm pretty sure we probably called solo. So that means that uh, 22 in the bottom of the screen is going to have uh, that receiver just one on one. And then our free safety number five that's right in the middle, he's poaching number three. Okay, um, on the so top his of the eyes screen. are here. Right. Right. And then um, number, the outside linebacker that's way out there, he should be reading the number three guy too. So if he goes out, he jumps it. 
And then number 80 playing Mike, he, he had a bad read right there because we practiced with this um, stick technique to uh, hit number one on the, um, we called it a slant stop. And these are tough. They just go like curl flat with a smash in the middle. I mean, that's tough. Right. So in we, theory, who should have been here? Who should be here for this curl? Is that, should that curl, be number 80? It, it should be 80, right. Yeah, he's gonna be your hook curl guy right here, right? Correct, yeah. In theory, that's where his eyes yeah. should have gone to. And honestly, like I said, it was week three. Number 80 was also a, a safety to start the season. Yeah. And he started playing um, our Mike factor just out of necessity because uh, our guy got hurt um, in our previous week. So he actually, um, he does a good job. He gets um, he gets a pick later on in the game playing the same coverage. Um, he got uh, recruited to play linebacker in college now because wow, he moved down, yeah. Well, it looks like you're bringing five now on this one. Now, AD comes and shows, but he's not going. Now they go to that backside boundary hitch, and I'm assuming you, you're probably in solo again up here? Yeah, our um, corner should have been playing the stick up there. It, that was a struggle all year long. It's like, guys, it's third and, you know, seven, third and three. Mm -hmm. Look where the sticks are and play the stick. That's where the yeah, guys are yeah. probably going to be, you know, running their route or breaking it off. Um, I think we get lucky, and I think he drops the ball on this one. I mean, that's the thing. That's, you know, that's what you say. You say, hey, go ahead and complete that. See if you can complete it all day on us. And they weren't able to, and now they're punting it back to you. Yeah. Okay. A little return. Yeah, that kid, um, he actually just got athlete of the year for our school this year. The one who, the returner. And I think the one that you just saw um, run the um, run the sweep, same kid. Coach, they have the ball back. Some sort of penalty? Probably. Probably. Oh, I think we ran the into worst? the kicker. You're yeah. sitting that. It, I know you're sitting there with the ball in your hand, <laughs> and the next thing you know, they got it back. Now here we go. This is where. Uh, this is where I get nervous, right? You shut them down. To this is kind of how the game of football works. Now I, have I no think they actually do it. score on, on this drive. Yeah, maybe you, know. you end up stopping them. But here's my thought. You've stuffed them twice in a row. Then you give them the gift. Let's draw a little gift here. This is a little <laughs> present with a big, pretty bow. Uh -huh. And after the gift, then somehow they pull something off. Like, that's like how football goes. Now, I don't know this game, but it's, football works like that all the time. It does. You're 100% right. It's like all about that momentum sw switch, right? Yes. Like as soon as that momentum pops, it's like, boom, oh, here they go. Right. And now they've had two plays in a row where they've gotten something. They couldn't They couldn't buy a yard off you earlier. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now they're going big uh -oh. at the guy who's solo. Uh -oh. You can see it. You can see it. There's the gift. Touchdown. <laughs> Dude, it never fails. What this darn game. Yeah. You do it. You have it, and you've got them stopped. And now the next thing you know, now it's tie ball game, tie ball game, just like that. And you know what? Here's the thing about this: like he's solo, we can't see it, right? But for all we know, his coverage could have been fantastic. It at wasn't. The end of the day, at the end <laughs> of the day, once in a while, these two connect. Yeah. That yeah. big one connects sometimes, and there's nothing you can do about it. Man, killer. Okay, now it's tied. Nope. And we're going to get the ball back. Let's see what you do. How many extra points that did you block last year? Um, I think maybe one or two. Did you? Yeah. Did you get it from the edge? Um, I think we got one from the edge and one from the middle. So I've only um, had a team. So as a head coach for 11 years, I think we've blocked one from the edge. Oh, oh, really? One. They're so hard to get to. We, we have blocked a, fast a couple right from there. right here, though. Just a couple. Yeah. All right. Some of those big guys getting skinny. All right, K.O. Reed. That's what I always call it. K.O. Reed. Oh, nice, nice little kick. See so you setting up a wedge on the hash on the top of the screen. Not a bad little return. Our ball on the 30. Here we go. All right. Wing right. Is your quarterback left or righty? He's a right-handed kid. He's a righty. So I'm a little surprised by that because. Um, I'm seeing more wing right than wing left. And most court, most wing T guys with a, a righty quarterback will play more wing left for that boot. You know what? For, well, um, so we flop our line, but we also, um, we, but we keep our running backs on the same side. Yeah. So we really wanted our uh, kid who's um, 5'11", 
behind the tackle right now. That's six. We wanted our, yeah, we wanted our, that kid to get the ball pretty often. Yeah, so I, we I understand that. Red a lot. Yeah, he's the one that popped that buck sweep for 60. So I, I can see why you wanted that. And now, see that, listen, you just went buck sweep for 60 yards. And so this is, I think this is huge for coaches. Okay, I just went buck sweep for 60 yards on the last drive. What do I have to lose to just let my first and 10 call be buck, buck sweep? Right, I mean, I just went for 60, right? That's a yeah. great, that's a, that, like, you wanna talk about giving yourself a great safe call, just let's go with the play, our base run play that just went for 60. You know, it's not gonna go for 60 again, goes for four. Yeah, honestly, I tell my old coordinator, I'm like, dude, just run it until they stop it. Yeah. Now, this is interesting, coach. This wing on the last buck sweep was coming down here looking. And on this one, he comes right here. Is that a tag for you guys? Or is that nope. just the kid doing something different? That's just that's just a sophomore plant. Yep. <laughs> he, uh, he's supposed to come down to the linebacker, and he uh, he forgets every now and yeah. then. Kids, kids do that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it different this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? This looks like power. Yeah, we ran power in box sweep a lot this year. Okay. We got some good little backs, man. Mm hmm We really did, and we have um some some sophomores going to be juniors this year that play JV football. They should be really good too. So our backs our back situation this year isn't bad. Okay, this is interesting. Show belly option. You guys call it belly option or down option? Um, down option. Okay, so you show belly action, but it's pass. And you pulled this guy. So what's the pass pro idea here? Because you, it's you know it's hard to go pass pro while pulling a guy. How well, is we that just talk? we just have um we just basically block it like down. Okay. And um the uh, fullback and the um pulling guard. They, they just settle up and block. But if we blocked, um, we looked at our uh, sideline cam and if we blocked it like down, we would have been fine. We're just trying to, you know, hit some play action and, and mess with some linebackers eyes. I like that. It was big. Yeah, he was open over the top and a quarterback. Don't complete it, but I like no. this, man. I like, you know, I, that, I really believe that affects that D coordinator. When he sees that, especially when you're defending someone that you know you need guys downhill on, then they throw it deep on you. That's tough. Yeah. I like that. Our quarterback didn't do that bad of a job this year. He was a converted from a wide receiver. All right, come with that fly sweep motion. Now, will you guys run? So the, here come with jet or fly sweep. I guess they call it fly sweep if this guy's offset. Will you guys run rocket as well? Or have you chosen jet instead of rocket? Um, we kind of played with both. We actually found that we were better at jet. For some okay. reason, we were just better at jet, um, but we ended up running kind of like a quick toss look towards the end of the year too, okay. um, and that worked out well for us. So I don't, I don't know. Our quarterback didn't couldn't quite figure out the rocket pitch. It was it was it was interesting. He had a he had a few problems, but we we tried to figure it out with him. Rocket pitches can be tough. Yeah, it's one of those things you gotta they you gotta get a lot of reps. Okay. All right. Spreading things out. Of course, you're kind of in a tough hole here. It's third and 13. You know, what are you going to do? Third and 13. Yeah. You just sailed it. Throw a pick. Yep. Slant. But again, third and 13 is tough for anyone. Unless Coach Mack. You know, last week, Coach <laughs> Mack, Coach Gonzalez and Coach Mack know each other. He was stuck third and 15. He just goes wide cross. Boom, on the money. Yeah. Well, you know, it was funny because, like, you know how you practice something every, all week? And yeah. we, we lined up in this formation because of the way that we saw them lining up on film to that yeah. formation. And we're like, all right, we can just, you know, run a slant with the outside guy, run a slant with the tight end, and, you know, run an arrow with our running back. And this thing's going to be open. Like, if you look, yeah, it is. he's open. But our quarterback just doesn't hit it. But he was hitting it all, pra all practice. And it's like, yeah. oh. And remember what I told you in the beginning, we never, we like, whenever we play this team, our kids just kind of lose their minds a little bit, you know? Right. Next thing you know, now we're, I don't want you to go out on a, on a um, pick, but next thing you know, right, it's a tie ball game and now they stop you and now you're in a war 
with a team where in the first drop, first two drives, it look, you looked like you were about to smash them. Right. The, the old big mo. Okay, yeah. I like this a little counter action here. How do you block it? Just tackle trap? It's tackle trap, yeah. Love it. We ended up uh, running tackle trap option out of this later, I think. Tackle trap option, now we're yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah. I like that. You know what I like on tackle trap option? It's, it's gimmicky, but, but uh, it's money. It's great for um, in practice, especially. So you would go tackle trap, and, and your quarterback, instead of giving the trap, right, takes it around his back and continues on the option. Okay. Because I, I haven't seen that. When he runs by him, field. right? So when your guy runs by him, and he puts it behind his back, now the DN sees the quarterback for the first time, and he doesn't see a ball. Mm, that's true. So that's why he goes, and now all of a sudden, whoop, pops up. To play with it in practice, and you might, okay. just might. You gotta have a ball handler, right? I gotta have a point guard for that, man. Yeah. I don't know if I have that. If, you're, uh, if your quarterback is a point guard, just, it's fun. It's a fun little gimmick. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tackle trap, and now power. No, buck sweep. Buck sweep. Yep, we just missed, missed the block. Third and short. Power, right? Yep, power. Dude, this guy, this 74 is a dude, coach. Oh, yeah. He was by far one of our our, our best linemen. He, um, he's he one back? Of those... No, no, he's a senior. Dude, um, he's smashing kids. He smashed a kid on trap in the first drive. Yeah, Boom. yeah. He's there that kid on the wing tee that could be a fullback, but he's like, I just, I want to pull and wreck kids. I'm like, all right, cool, let's do yeah. that. Yeah, hey, we can find a home for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the old woes of power, right? The guy goes right inside your kick out. Boom. Coach Gonzalez says, let's talk about this. There, he, there is. <laughs> is that you? Is that um, you? Nope, there you are. Oh, there, no, I'm right there. I'm right. No, that's that guy's too skinny. I'm right next to the down marker. There it is. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, go talk to this kid. Yeah. All right. Wing left. Here it is. And there's tackle trap again. Hey, thirty's getting a heavy dose of ball carries right now. Yeah. Oh. I think that. I like that. that so you'll easy. run to hold game. people honest to this motion here. You'll run tackle trap option yeah and that will. tackle will still pull this way uh the tackle will still pull uh the opposite direction and how we block it is um uh that fullback will try to log the outside guy okay yeah so he's gonna come here and log him tackle trap quarterback here behind the back and out the other side <laughs> right there behind the back that might be kind of fun to play with that's nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just play with it in the living room, and you'll be you'll be hooked. Yeah, dude, you are just steady dose power, sweet power, sweet. Hey, six six is a dude. Yeah, he was. I'm gonna miss that kid. These kids are man. You got some backs, and your uniforms look sharp. Oh yeah, these are the first time the kids went all white, and we we absolutely loved it. Wow. Wow, look how clean, white shoes and all. I had a coach that said, no one, you look fastest in white shoes. Boom. Now that's way better. Now you're starting to stretch that lead again. I haven't watched this one in a while. I think we feel, I'm all pumped up. Let's get the back to the <laughs> <laughs> How about this kid? Is he back? He's gone too? He's gone too. What about 30? Is he back? He's going to be a, a junior. Oh, so that 30 was only a sophomore? Yeah, and uh, our fullback number seven, he's going to be a senior. Wow. So we'll get, we'll get two out of the three guys back. Well, let's hope. I like that. There's That's the shot to end on right here. That's right there. <laughs> let's get it right here. That's, that's going to be our thumbnail. Deal? All right. There's perfect. the thumbnail. <laughs> well, guys, let's go ahead, and I'm going to unshare this. Come back down to Coach Gonzalez on screen. And uh, Coach Gonzalez, thanks so much for joining us for Film Friday. It was fun to watch a little film with you. Yeah, it's always fun to watch film. Man, you guys got a good thing going. You look good on film, look clean, 74. Make sure you tell him he's a beast.
I'll, uh, I'll text him that right now. I don't think I've had a guard. That, I've had a tackle, my strong tackle. I've had a couple that were that type of kid. I don't think I've ever had a guard that was that type of dude. That's nice. Keep watching that film. He'll, he does more of that later. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, Coach. Anything before I sign us off here? No, no, sir. It's just always fun to talk football and be on Film Friday. It's kind of exciting. Awesome. Well, you guys, look him up. It's at AVGonzalez831, right? Yes, sir. Look him up on Twitter. Out of Salinas, California. Oh, one more thing we asked earlier. Do you consider yourselves Bay Area? Um, I don't. You don't. I consider myself like Central, I don't know, Central Coast? Central yeah. Central Coast. Okay. Right. So you're south of the Bay Area. Yeah, we're about um, an hour and a half south of, of the Bay. Okay. So. Well, look him up, man. Uh, Coach is doing a great job out in Salinas, California, Everett Alvarez High School. Let's hope we both get to play ball next year. Yeah. Uh, we will see you guys back here on our YouTube channel for four quarters on Monday. We'll have clinics next week, and we'll be back here for Film Friday next Friday. Don't forget, tonight, check out Coach Simpson on Friday Night Live over at clinic.chiefpigskin.com.